What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, yes, I know, it was small, but it was very informational since I managed to spend 40 bucks on a new Pokeball here. We managed to get ourselves the mystery gift Mew, so I'm going to go ahead and take you uh, on a little tour. I'm actually going to show you guys where this Pokemon is at, so let's see, where the heck is it? There we are. So, there you go, Mew... I don't think I saved this game at all, so I'm just going to put it right here. So let's go right ahead and take a look at our new Pokemon, Mew. The legendary Pokemon, as you can see, bam. A good looking Pokemon, very strong, learns every single move in this whole Pokemon world. Like I said in the last episode, it was only appropriate since we got to Cerulean City and that's where, you know, the Mew glitches usually happen right here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to heal my Pokemon. And then uh, get this whole thing started with Cerulean City because there's a lot that we have to cover right here, including battling trainers, getting Pokemon, that whole thing. Okay, so that is that. And, well, that is that. Now, if you see a trainer, if you see an individual that looks like this, he's going to do something very, very special for you. Your Pikachu looks promising. I'm pretty sure that Pikachu can learn a marvelous move that I've developed. Do you want me to teach a marvelous move to Pikachu? What do you say? Sure, why not? It's called Zippy Zap. Sparky wants to learn Zippy Zap. Which one should have forgotten or something like that? Of course, we're going to take away uh, Thundershot because it's not that powerful. Hey, Zippy Zap is a little bit better right there. Build a marvelous relationship with your Pokemon, okay? Sure, why not? And there are two types of attacking moves, physical and special moves. If your Pokemon's attack is high, teach it physical moves. This is also true. I've actually been taught by every single one of you guys that, you know what, you're teaching your Pokemon the wrong kinds of moves and all that crud. And, well, let's see, what does this guy have to say? Have you heard about Bill? Everyone calls him the Pokemon fanatic. But a collection like his, who wouldn't want to brag about it a little bit? I think people are just jealous. This is very, very true. So, let's get the heck out of here. And... Well, let's go right ahead and... Let's go right ahead and switch up our team right here. Okay, so now... We don't really need... Well, there, there's a few Pokemon that we really don't need. Like I said in the last episode, I'm going to try and change up my team as often as possible. I want to make this team as different as the other iterations that we went into, like in Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Leaf Green. So, in this one right here... I'm well, I'm actually going to take out Magikarp. I'm actually going to put him... Uh, actually, hold on. I'm actually going to do this. We should probably probably do this. I can't even speak right now. Uh, let's see. We're going to be putting Mew into the, into the party. And yes, guys. It doesn't really matter to me. This is just a... <laughs> This game is just uh, another another one of them uh, walkthroughs that I kind of wanted to do for quite some time. In the long run, we'll see what our Pokemon team is going to look like. So, as you can see, there is a Pokemon gym here that we can actually go to a little bit later on. And, well, let's see. There is something about this that really... Yeah, let's throw money in there. Let's throw 50 in there. And what will happen? Splash. And look at that. Pikachu's all happy and stuff. He's like, he looks happy. That's good. Very, very good. Okay, so that right there is one thing. As you can see, we can't go anywhere because this tree, this tree can't be chopped down. And before we go anywhere else, let's go right ahead and, well, let's go right ahead and sell some stuff right now. So let's go with a uh, nugget right here. Look at that. We found a Stardust as well over at the... Uh, at Mount Moon, and then on top of that, we found a pearl. So look at that, we're rolling into dough right now. And you know what? Maybe I should just uh, toss away this uh, PP up as well because, hey man, the more money we get, the more Pokeballs we can actually get too. So let's go right ahead and grab some more Great Balls right here. So let's go with uh, let's go with ten right here. And let's see, what else can we get? Pokeballs. 20 of them. Alrighty, so we're doing well. It's doing all. Okay, so we're, we're. Okay, so everything's going well now. Now it's time for us to get the heck out of here and uh, just move on to the next thing right here. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to be battling a few people. 
left and right and all that stuff. I can smell it. I can feel it. Here's the bike shop, and I don't think they're going to be giving us a bike anytime soon. Let's see. My bike collection is impressive, isn't it? I won't let you ride or buy one, but feel free to have a look. Huh. <laughs> and he's looking, he's like, are you curious about the acro bikes? Sure. It's by far the wildest bike, and very different from other bikes. That is in that is the acro bike. And oh wow, he's going really fast and uh Wow. He went he went really really fast. I didn't know what he was saying, so whatever. But as many of you guys already know, the acro bike does acrobatics and all that crowd. So let's see. Is there anything else that we need to check up? Like right here. Let's see. Oh look at that, Bulbasaur. We all know from Pokemon Yellow, if you talk to this lady, she will be able to give you a Bulbasaur. Now, in this game right here, she's going to be like, I'm taking care of injured Pokemon here. Bulbasaur is fully recovered, so I'd like to give this Pokemon to a trainer who's caught a lot of Pokemon I can trust. And she looks and she's like, the number of Pokemon you've caught so far is 63? Incredible! Would you take care of this Bulbasaur? Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and take this Bulbasaur. So there we go, guys. We got ourselves a new Bulbasaur. And look at this. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Bulbasaur right now. See what it's all about. I know that I've already got a previous Bulbasaur back in the... What was it? The Inveridian Force. But this guy right here is at level 12. And I think I should put it right here just so I won't have to, like, switch it out or anything. So let's see. Let's see. Uh, check Summary. So as you can see, this Pokemon is a timid nature, and it's at level 12. Of course, it's grass and, and poison type. And what kind of moves does it have? It has Vine Whip and Leech Seed. Now, Bulbasaur, of course, not really one of my favorite starter Pokemon, but it is able to make it evolve right here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to switch him out for, for Scyther right here, since I already have a flying type Pokemon. Eventually, I'm going to evolve Pidgey and then just switch it out again, guys. A lot of Pokemon, not so permanent. It's going to be very, very good, too. So, let's move on right here. Let us go and find some other stuff right here, like, I don't know, another rare candy. Uh, let's see. If you guys already know this guy, he will actually tell you about, you know, the badges and all that stuff. Now, if you walk around right here, when, you know, it's gonna, the cut screen and all that stuff, you'll be able to find an item around here somewhere. And look at that. Pikachu's tail's wagging. Let's go ahead and grab this item. Found ourselves another air or another rare candy right here. So this is actually helping us out a lot. So let's go right ahead and move on forward to the next thing. Pretty sure there's a Pokemon battle involved. I don't know. Let's go right ahead and take a look. I don't know. So many of you guys already know. Here's Professor or here's Officer Jenny, and she's gonna be like, "What a shame! The people were robbed." Someone even saw the thieves escape, and they said it, has no, it was none other than Team Rocket. To protect the poor owners of this house from further harm, I won't be letting one, anyone in. Not even a little Rattata will sneak past me. Hmm. You say that now, but then you're going to let me sneak in or something. <laughs> Alright, so let's move forward right here, and just like that, our good old buddy, Trace, he's like, Ugh! Oh, Draven, you gotta, you're not going to believe this. A, po a, po a Pokemon, it, it got... <laughs> and he battles us. <laughs> Alrighty. So here we go, another battle against our rival Trace right here. And he'll be coming out with his Pidgey. Look at this guy. So let's go, Pikachu. Finish this guy. Okay. Let's try out our new move, Zippy Zap right here. Alrighty, Zippy Zap. And... Bam! Look at that, hard hitting and effective. Oh yeah, feel the burn. Feel the burn, baby. And look at that, Mew growing levels like crazy. Not really. So he's gonna be coming out with a Noddish, so let's go right ahead and switch it out to Pidgey right here. On a mean, you know, you know, I think I should probably switch Pidgey out. Eventually I'm gonna get like, you know, Pidgeotto and all that stuff, so that's probably what I'm gonna do right now. So let's go, let's get this. Wing attack. Let's get this. Look at that. Pidgey kicking ass, but Odd is coming out with its uh, acid attack right here. Alright, let's go. 
Wing attack, and... Well, this guy, of course, heals his Pokemon real quick, but here we go with another wing attack. Nearly finishes off this Oddish, so let's go right again and finish this guy off with a quick attack. Alrighty. Look at that. Oddish has no foot to stand on. Oh, yes. And would you look at that. Pidgey grows to level 17, and it's learning ro Roost, so let's see. I think I should go with like a sand attack right here, which is okay. Alrighty. And well, Mew, of course, grows to level 3. Polyswag, level 17. And now he's about to come out with Eevee, so let's go ahead and take out Smashy right here. Now that it does have double kick, which will be good. Let's go. Come on, Smasher. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. And here's. Eevee, which, you know, not that effective, but here we go with the double kick. But here comes that double, or that tail whip right here. Come on. Let's go, Smasher. One kick, two kick. Nearly takes him out right there. So we're going to have to try this one more time with a double kick, and of course, coming with his quick attack. Alright, let's go. Nearly takes out Eevee. Good God. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Oh, jeez. Look at that. <laughs> Here we go. Double kick. Finishes off this Eevee. I'm feeling happy about it. Look at that. Smasher grows to level 14, I think. Yes. Uh-oh, I'm feeling it. And everybody is growing levels, including Mew right here. Look at that. Taking care of business. Let's see what this guy has to say. <laughs> Deep breaths. Okay, let me try that again. Sorry, it's not like me to lose to lose my cool like that. There's a house up ahead where this famous Poke fan fanatic is supposed to live. I wanted to stop by because I want. I thought maybe I'd get to see some rare Pokemon or something. But what I found now, and don't freak out when you hear this. That Pokemon fanatic wasn't there! Instead, there was a Pokemon that talked! Eesh. Just thinking about it gives me the creeps. Don't go there in there. go don't go in there, Draven. Alright. Alright, so we are at level 14 right here. And I do have two rare candies. Yes, I am going to do the I'm going to do the, the fun thing right here. I'm gonna give it all to Smasher and then use one of the moonstones to actually evolve it and stuff so that's let's do that level 16 and would you look at this smasher is evolving now many of you guys have have been commenting on my on my uh, videos and all that stuff one of you guys said try an eater and female we haven't seen that done I agreed I already have Thrasher in one of my uh, in one of my boxes, so I might as well give Smasher a try right here. So here we go with a Nidoran female or Nidorina. And look at that. Nidorina, the, the poison pin Pokemon. Two feet, seven inches, 44 pounds. It is a big girl right here. Of course, it's a little taller than usual right here. So when resting deep in a burrow, in its burrow, its barb always retract. This is proof that it is relaxed. That is true. Now that we're done with that, let's go straight to the uh, power-up pocket right here. And we have two Moonstones that we found over at the, uh, at the uh, Mount Moon. And let's give that to Smasher one more evolution right here. Look at that. Alrighty. Now, originally when I played this game, I didn't know where to find the Moonstones. I actually thought that you could find the Moonstones as items, but then I found out that it was the craters and where the, mount the Moonstones were. So, here you have it. Nido Queen, look at that. Look at all beefy and pimp. There we go. So Nido Queen's dad has been added, and she is four feet three inches, but in reality she is uh, four six. And then here we have a height of uh, or a weight of 132 pounds. She actually weighs 158 pounds. Tough scales cover the sturdy body of this Pokemon. It appears that it, the scales grow in cycles, which is cool. And then after that, she is learning Body Slam, so we're going to actually teach him, uh, teach her a very, very good move right here. So let's go ahead and take away Scratch. Now we actually have a very good move on, on, uh, on Smasher right here. Look at that. That's my girl. 
Okay, so that is that. We have one fully evolved Pokemon. Pidgey's about to evolve in this one right here, so might as well do that in one episode. So here we are in the Nugget Bridge, and of course we're going to be battling some trainers right here. People, people call this the Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? Yes, I do. Alrighty, so here we go. Battle number one in the Nugget Bridge. Catch your Kale, or Bug Catch your Kale. So here he goes, comes out with his usual bug type Pokemon right here, so let's go with a Sparky right now. Alrighty, let's do this. Zippity Zap, or Zippy Zap, for the win right here. Look at this. Oh yeah, that didn't feel so good right now. So Venonat defeated. Oh yes. And, well, there we go. Bug Catcher Kale has been defeated easily like that. And, well, let's go right ahead and start switching out our Pokemon. It's a good time to actually just train out every single one of them. So let's go right ahead and put Smasher in there and try her out. And, well, let's see what you got. I'm second! Now it's serious! When is it never serious? I don't know. Okay. Let's get it. Last Alley would like to battle, and she will be coming out with her Psyduck right here. Alrighty. Let's go, and I'm somewhat of a, at a type of disadvantage right now, but hopefully we could just beat her like this. Body slam, look at that. <laughs> Body slam for the win. There we go, that's my girl. And Mew grows a level again. Alrighty, look at that, I'm kicking ass. It's been fun. Okay, so I think it's been fun. Okay, so I think every single one of these Pokemon trainers have like one Pokemon, so. Let's go ahead and rotate Pokemon right now. So let's go with Pidgey now and see what this guy has to say. Here's number three. I will be easy. Alrighty. Bring it. Bring it home, Skillet. So here we go. Youngster Timmy would like to battle, and he will be coming out with his Sandstrew. And, well, I don't know if I have the. I don't know. Well, it could. It could could do this. Let's go. Wing attack. Won't be super effective, but it, it'll still be something. And here's his sand attack. Crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. Oh, God. Alright, here we go again. Maximum effort. Wing attack. Let's go. And here we go again with a scratch attack. Okay, let's go, Pidgey. Come on. Let's finish this guy off right here. Wing attack for the win. And that is how you do it right there, guys. Yeah, buddy. And Mew growing levels like crazy. Not really, but I still haven't caught any Pokemon yet in this episode. Okay, so let's go right ahead and try out another Pokemon right here. Let's go move this Pokemon. Let's go with Bulbasaur right here. So let's see what we got. I'm number four. Getting Alrighty. Let's see what we got right here. So here we have Last Really, or Really, or Riley, Really, I don't even know how to pronounce that name, but she will be coming out with her Meowth right now. And let's go with Bulbasaur right now. There we go. Alright, Bulbasaur. I don't like you, and you don't like me, but here we go with the Leech Seed attack. Damn. Okay, so that didn't work out right there, so let's go again, and this girl is just using Bite. Right now, Bulbasaur is getting... Let's go again, and this girl is just using Bite. Right now, Bulbasaur is getting its butt kicked. There we go. And look at that. <laughs> Take it away, your HP. One turn at a time. Okay, let's try this one more time. Let's go with a Vine Whip attack right here. And that Bite attack is going to... Make us flinch, but guess what? We still drain some of your energy. Alrighty, okay. Well, as many of you guys already know, we got another turn right here, so let's go with another Vine Whip. Come on! God damn it. This guy's not... Oh yeah, well, there we go, finally. And look at that, double attack right there. There we go. Come on, Bulbasaur. You can do it. Another Vine Whip right here. And all this Pokemon knows how to do is bite. But here we go. Vine Whip takes it away. And there goes that Meowth. <laughs> okay. 
So really has been defeated and we're getting more money and Pokeballs, which is good here too. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and switch out our party members and let's go ahead and use Poliwag right now. Alrighty, let's go. Okay, I'm number five. I'll stomp you. I really wish you could. I, re I really wish you could try. You could try. So here we go. Another Pokemon trainer. His name is Camper Kevin, and he is challenging us like always. And he is coming out with a Growlithe, which look at that. I predicted really well right there. So let's go, Poliswag. And well, let's go right ahead and use this Water Gun attack right now. Look at that. And here comes an Ember attack. Doesn't affect us very well. But guess what? Here we go. Water Gun yet again. And that does that. <laughs> Say goodbye to Growlithe. And everybody gaining levels. Mew is getting a level right there too. And look at that. We get two Great Balls, which is great. Alrighty. So, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right now. Of course, we're not going to be using Mew right now because not that powerful. Most powerful Pokemon in the world, but yet not that powerful. Still trying to evolve it. And here we have this guy. He's like, congratulations, you beat our five trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize. And of course, we got ourselves a nugget. And by the way, kid, how would you like to join an organization, Team Rocket? That's right. Oh, damn. We're a group of dedicated doing, uh, dedicated doing, uh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're a group of dedicated to doing evil using Pokemon. Wanna join? Nope. Are you sure? Yep. Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay. You need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Okay. Alrighty. So here we go. Another battle, and this time it's against a Team Rocket Grunt. And he's coming out with his Zubat. <laughs> it's not gonna be that. It's not gonna be that that hard. So here we go. Let's go ahead and use a Zippy Zap just to make this guy feel uncomfortable. Look at this, Zippy Zap for the win. Suck it. Oh yes. Look at that. And well, he's about to come out with a coughing. I do have a Psychic type Pokemon, but unfortunately. That ain't gonna work, so let's go with the Pidgey right here. See if we can actually win it with this guy. Alright, Pidgey, come on. Let's do this. Alrighty, coughing. What's up? And here we go. Let's get this. Let's go with the wing attack. And bam. Nothing too big. But he's gonna come out with a tackle attack, and that takes almost all my HP right there, so. All right, here we go. Wing attack again. Not that big. All right, finish this guy off. One more wing attack for the win. Say goodbye to coughing. <laughs> look at that. Look at that, and look at that. Mew grows to level eight, and Bulbasaur grows to level thirteen. And this is all great. He's like, ah, you are good. And yes, we get a lot more points, a lot more money. And this guy right here is going to be like, with your skills, you can become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of the opportunity. You shouldn't let a chance like this pass, by, pass you by. <laughs> and he disappears right then and there. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to be doing right here is this, guys. So if you guys can see, there's a Charmander waiting for us, and you have to talk to this guy. So he's going to be telling you, I'm not, a good, I'm not good at raising Pokemon. I feel sorry for my Charmander because it's not getting stronger. So I want to give it to a better trainer than me. Are you interested? Sure. And look at that. The number of Pokemon you've caught is 63. Cool. I want you to have this Charmander. Will you take it? Sure. And so here we have Charmander. Alrighty, look at that. Get in my Pokedex. <laughs> Look at that. Charmander's in our Pokedex. And as you can see here, it is a lizard Pokemon. Fire type Pokemon. Height 2 feet, 18 pounds, but its real weight is eh, just slightly bigger. The flame on the, tip, uh, on the tip of its tail makes it sound as it burns. You can only hear it in quiet places. That is awesome. And yes, you are in our Pokemon box. Okay, so we're going to stop right here, guys. 
in the next episode, there's going to be a little bit of a change going on. I, I've had the craziest idea ever. But you'll see in the next episode what we're going to be doing. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.